Hi, Alan Stratton from As Wood Turns. Wood turners always have a fascination with hollow forms. How did he get that hollow through that tiny little hole? Well, for this one, you're just going to have to watch and see how I do it. But I have a second reason for making this particular vessel. It reminds me of a UFO, which takes me back to former days when I worked for Atari. Remember that old video game company? Well, we made E.T. the game, the biggest video game flop of all times. In fact, there was a special a bit ago on the news where they had people digging up old E.T. games in the New Mexico desert. Well, news people didn't have it all right, all, didn't have it at all right, because I was there. I signed off on some of the paperwork. So, but let's make this for E.T. so we can go home and for you to see how to make this hollow form with a small hole. I'll start by mounting my block of walnut on a screw chuck, then start roughing and shaping. I'll measure for a mounting tenon on the bottom and cut it now. I did have to stop and treat a couple of cracks with CA glue. Finally, I sanded and finished the bottom with walnut oil. Now I'll flip the wood over and remount into my chuck. Then I'll shape the top exterior. Again I'll measure and cut a tenon on this side also. I'll eventually disguise it as a bead around the hole in the interior, into the interior. I'm close now to being ready to hollow the interior. For now I'll shape more of the exterior and I'll finish up using my skew as a scraper. Now for the first step to hollow the interior, but now, instead of poking a tool into the center hole, I'll address the outer edge of the exterior with a parting tool. At first I can widen the kerf just a little by wiggling the tool back and forth. Later I'm angling the parting tool a little each way to make sure the kerf is wide enough to not bind on the tool. As I get close to the center, I remove the tailstock to avoid the wood binding on it when it comes loose. How about that? I caught it. I guess at this point I have to confess I'm not going to hollow this vessel through the center hole. Instead, now I have the equivalent of two shallow bowls. I'll hollow each of them and glue them back together again. For now, with the bottom dish still on the lathe, I'll start hollowing with a gouge. The walnut is very dry and hard. I would not try this with green wood. With wood this dry, the shavings come off the tool too hot for comfort on my hands. That's not a problem with wet wood. I'll finish up with a small round nose scraper. Then sand this half of the interior, but not apply oil. I don't want to risk oil interfering with the glue joint that's coming up. The final step for this half is to sand the joint edge with sandpaper mounted to a long board. I need this area totally flat and clean for when I glue them back together. Now I'll switch over to hollow the top part of the form. This is thinner, there's less to do with the gouge and scraper. Again I'll sand the inside and sand the joint edge that will mate to the bottom.
Now I'm switching back to mount the bottom because I need the top towards the tailstock. I've also put a 60 degree cone on my tailstock to help align the two halves. Then I'll glue the two halves together, taking care to align the grain as best I can. Some wood has been lost, so there are some compromises. After allowing time for the glue to dry, I'll finish up the exterior. I'll stick to using my skew as a scraper. The walls are thin and I don't have a lot of room for error. Then sand and finish the exterior with walnut oil. Later, I'll soak it in walnut oil. That will also finish the interior. Et voila! I made a hollow form without one tiny bit of hollowing through that small hole. Did I cheat? I don't think so. If I can avoid that interior hollowing with a simple technique like this, I'll do it. Plus, it would have been nearly impossible to hollow that far out, so close to the top. I like the shape. Now my old friend E.T. can fly away home. Only these doggy game cartridges will have to stay buried in that New Mexico landfill. Please click the like button on this video and subscribe to both my website and YouTube channel. Always wear your face shield. Until next time, this is Alan Stratton from Aswood Turns. E.T., wait! We're not ready yet! Wait for me!